We did have a few spotty showers earlier, very earlier on earlier today, but we're going to be expecting a few more later today. However, overall, it was a really pretty day too in the Tennessee Valley and also fairly warm out. It was 89 right here at the station, 87 in Red Bay. We had a little bit of rain overnight within McDonald, almost a quarter of an inch worth. 92 in Delano, 87 degrees in Rossville for today. And we still do have 100 households without power within Gilmer County, and hopefully these power outages will be resolved soon. They've been sticking around for quite a while now. So again, hopefully it'll be resolved really soon. And again, we do have a spotty shower chance for this evening, but it shouldn't get in the way of any outdoor plans you might have. And then it will be cooler starting tomorrow and humidity is going to also lower Monday evening going into Tuesday morning. Now within the past few hours, we've had a few spotty sprinkles in the Tennessee Valley. I know earlier today too, we also did have a scattered thunderstorm within DeKalb County, but obviously that has since cleared out and we'll be good to go now with these storm or with these showers later today. We could see a rumble of thunder, but it's just going to be for the next few hours and we're not expecting any severe weather. All of that severe weather is way down south, so we don't have to worry about any severe weather for this evening. So within the next few hours, like I mentioned, we are keeping an eye out on uh, some systems in the north. That's going to bring the possibility for some of those rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. But then going into tomorrow morning, it is going to start to be uh, or it's still going to be humid for tomorrow morning. We'll have partly cloudy skies and then for Monday evening, that's when that humidity is going to drop going into Tuesday and we also have a chance for a light spotty shower Monday evening, but again, it's going to be very light and it won't get in the way of any plans that you might have. Now for Tuesday, Tuesday, the humidity is going to drop significantly. It's going to feel wonderful outside, so definitely hang in there. It's currently 91 degrees right now, so it's a bit toasty in Chattanooga, 89 in Dalton, 81 in Murphy, 81 in Altima, 87 degrees in Athens, and dew points are in the 60s, so it is slightly less humid than it was yesterday for sure. So that's good news, and tomorrow it'll be another day with lower humidity on the lower end. We have 36% humidity right now in Chattanooga, 43% Lafayette, 40% in Scottsboro, a bit more humid in Murphy at 51% humidity right now. And within the next few hours, clouds will still be partly cloudy for this evening. Then we do have a cooler low as well, uh, low of 69 degrees for Chattanooga. So it'll be cooler, but it'll still be humid outside with partly cloudy skies. It'll be 69 in Cleveland, 70 in Scottsboro, 65 in Murphy, 66 in Altamont. 68 degrees in Athens for this evening and then going into tomorrow. It is going to be cooler 88 degrees for tomorrow's high. So we'll be back in the 80s until Friday and it will be another humid day with partly cloudy skies. But for the evening, that's when that humidity is finally going to decrease. It'll be 87 in Cleveland, 87 in Scottsboro, 84 in Fort Payne, only 77 degrees in Altamont. Look at that and take a look at this humidity, though. Look how lovely this looks. So Monday evening, it's finally going to drop and then Tuesday it's going to feel absolutely wonderful outside with that lower humidity and that humidity is going to climb back up beginning on Wednesday and then for the beginning of the work week it still will be fairly tol tolerable outside with humidity on the lower end. Now for the rest of the week temperatures are going to be in the 80s until we reach Friday again. Temperatures will be back in the 90s. We do again have a 10% chance for a light spotty shower too. This is just for the next few hours though. Might have a rumble thunder but no severe weather is expected for this evening.